take daddy papa money now. Ow. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by My First Wig. They sent me this unit to try for you guys. Now, before we get into this fully glueless, all the way around pre-cut lace front wig install make sure if you're new to the channel you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future let's go Like I said, this unit comes to us from my first wig. All the specs of my unit are right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. As you can see on the screen, this is the Kyra Sean wig. I'm Kyra Sean. <laughs> I featured this wig on my channel about two years ago, and it got really popular because of how I styled it. Now, it wasn't named the Kyra Sean wig when I tried it. However, because of how I styled it, they renamed it the Kyra Sean wig. So, shout out to my first wig for, you know, naming the wig after your girl. Now, for the update on this wig, they have joined the pre-cut club, meaning there's no lace to cut off on this wig, supposedly. Okay, sometimes you gotta, you know, change it up a little bit depending on how you want your hairline, but they cut most of the lace off for you so you can just pop this wig on and go that part is still on the wrong side so I'm at the shimmy my joint over to the right my first wig how you gonna get my part wrong listen my name is on the wig give me the right side please <laughs> But it is a free part wig. When I say free part, that means you can part it anywhere you want across the front of the hairline. Some people are new and don't understand that. So real quick lesson in parting spaces. 13 by six, 13 by four, that is free part. Now, if you get a 13 by six by one, that's not a free part, okay? That one means it's a T part or a side part or an I part or whatever you wanna call it. 13 by six by one, 13 by four by one, not a free part, okay? That is a T part closure wig. You also have closure wigs. You got four by four, that's four inches of lace across the front, four inches to the back. You got five by five. Follow me, okay? Six by six. A lot of the pre-cut wigs come in six by four, so six inches here, four inches here. Seven by five, seven, five. Nine by five, you get nine, five, okay? So now that you know, let's go ahead and get this wig installed. I'm gonna go ahead and tint my lace using my Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder in the color Milk Chocolate. Let me get my brush. The knots on this wig are bleached. However, y'all know I've been outside, so I got a little tan. So I just want to, <clears throat> what is going on? Wait a minute. <clears throat> so I just want to deepen up my lace around the edge here. The last time I installed my Kyra Sean wig, I sprayed her down. I'm hoping I don't need to spray her down, but if I decide to, then you know, I will if I want a certain look. The lace on this does feel a little, it's not the softest, okay? I will say that. I can't remember what kind of lace this is. Let me see. This is Swiss lace. So this is a 13 by six lace front wig, 130% density Swiss lace. Now for Malaysian hair, this unit should last you about one to two years, depending on how you care for the wig. Now for my wigs, because I change them out so much my wigs can last longer than that get in where your pockets fit in with this joint okay my first wig is not they're not cheap but they do have good quality hair they do have the attached elastic band and the hooks are on the back of my wig on the first hook so i'm gonna leave that where she's at was that a bar the wig does smell pretty good my first wigs normally don't stink so you know that's always a plus you can definitely wash your wig and go on about your business just know for kinky straight it will swell so you will need to sleek her out Again, a little long over here. Let me see what's going on. The ear tabs are sitting too far back. That one's sitting perfect though. Is it crooked? The hairline is pre-plucked. That's what they say, I can't see. Let me put my glasses on. Not bad. It is a lot of hair on this frontal though. So I will need to sleek this out a good bit to give me a flatter look. Where's my claw clip? Oh, let me just see if I can do part of a cut. Let's check it out now. So this would be a 13 by six. It's sitting really flat around my head. Maybe I don't have to spray it down. Let me just get this hair back. I'm gonna use some of my Nairobi mousse around the hairline. Not swishing anything, because I actually like how it naturally sat on my hairline. I'm just gonna mold it down. Mold the hairs out of my face. They didn't send me a band, so I'm gonna use what I have. For the hair, I need to relax it. So I'm gonna use my blow dryer brush on high heat and I'll blow through this hair. In the packaging, my first wig did send 
a how to install a lace wig. So if you're confused by anything that I'm doing in this video, definitely check out this pamphlet. They also show you how to wash and care for your wig and how to get refunds and exchanges if you don't like your wig. Just get a little part down the middle. Get my Tymo. I have the Tymo comb and I have the brush, but today I'm gonna use the comb because I wanna get really close to the root. Push it into the hair, bring it down. You're using the entire comb to flatten out the hair. I have it on three right now. Let me put it up to four. For 130%, this is a lot of hair. Get my ends flat. Nice. Parting some of the hair, make sure it's flat on my root. Yeah, I know I normally don't do this, but I want a certain look for this wig. Put the comb in, go against the hair. Mommy, hmm. How do you spell button? B U T T O N. You're welcome. Bring that down like this. Oh, let me get my wax stick. Got little flyaways up here. Now most wigs do have the short pieces on the top. That's just how the closure is made. They kind of feed the hair through. I learned that from another brand. I can't remember who, but they told me about that. That's why some brands have short pieces on the top to kind of save the hair and not uh, waste any. Make sure I get this flat, flat. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. I am getting some shedding. I don't know if that's because I cut the ear tab off and I cut into the lace or if it's just from the hair. So just be mindful of that. The ends are looking pretty decent. I don't think I'm gonna cut them just to give it a more natural appearance. I'm gonna clip the hair back, do my makeup, and then we will come back and finish up the final look for this unit. Turn my hot comb back on. Let's take off the band. Ooh, cute, cute. I'm just gonna put a bobby pin on the sides because I don't want to use the combs. Put the glasses over the lace, make sure she good. Brush back the hairline. The area behind the hairline is very thick. So I would definitely suggest my first wig not putting so much hair on the frontal. Flatten out the hair again, because I moved my part. Bring that forward. Let me just bump some of the ends. I didn't plan on doing a side part, but I kind of want to do one now. Keeping this style and very simple. Even beginners can do it. That is one thing with my first wig. They get these little grids in their parting space just because of the stitching. All right, nice and natural. Still no glue. Okay. Take daddy papa money now. Here's the final look y'all, what we think? Kinky straight, yakky straight gives me just a very natural vibe. I love how it looks on me cause you know, it's my texture. So it just works out really well for me. I didn't do too much with the ends. Just bumped them a little bit. That one's kind of coming out. If you want your curls to last, in this wig, set the curls. I've had this discussion in my comment section numerous times. Use your hairspray, use your rods, set the curls. This is my first time working with my first wig in a while. I actually kind of, you know, stepped away from them just because they were kind of going through some, some changes and uh, it wasn't really hidden for me. But they came back with a, what a vengeance, and I don't mind this one. I don't have on any lip gloss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, why my face look undone? Ooh, chow. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Y'all, I'm feeling real, like, your girl was feeling real low. I needed my pep, AKA my wig, to get back in step. If you don't know my dog, Nero, he passed away over the weekend, and it was, pretty traumatic for all of us. So, you know, we're still kind of processing that and I really haven't gotten myself together in some days now. So this was a very much needed look. Okay, I needed to get myself together to feel a little bit better. And my first wig definitely helped me with that. Here we go with the hairline all the way around. That looks really nice. I can't complain about how that is looking. The only thing I would say is, I think it should be a little bit more plucked behind the hairline to make it a little bit more gradual, kind of how the old Kyra Sean wig was. I feel like that was a lot more gradual for me. That was also a different lace too. So, you know, I can still work with what they gave me. Just make sure that what you gave me is what you give the wig base, period. But that's all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to my first wig for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and a coupon code for this unit down below. So if you guys wanna check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.